In this video, we will demonstrate the new EasyNAC deception feature that can detect hacking activity and take immediate action. The EasyNAC appliance has an IP on every VLAN that is protecting for real-time layer 2 visibility. Leveraging these same IP addresses, EasyNAC can host fake services such as SSH and Telnet. The fake service is just a honeypot and serves no real business purpose. So if any person or any bot tries to log into these fake services, it's a strong indicator of hacking activity. With these virtual honeypots on every VLAN, you can get an early indication of hacking activity before they reach the core of the network. Best of all, this type of detection has near zero false positives. Let's now show you how it's configured and how it works. We we'll start this demonstration at the EasyNAC dashboard. And the first thing we're going to do is just enable the deception feature. So we'll go up to Policies and Advanced Security, click on that Deception Hacking Detection, and just cl click to enable it. Now from here we can choose which services we want to fake. And we'll go ahead and fake SSH, Telnet, and FTP. Now if we scroll down we can see there's some conditions that we can also monitor. The first condition would be any connection attempt to the honeypot or tag the device as a honeypot hit. Now this could have some false positives because even a network scan would trigger this. So to make sure we have near zero false positives, we'll also look for logon attempts to these fake services, in which case we're then tag the device as having a deception event. So let's go ahead and save that setting. Now we'll go back to the dashboard and let's have a closer look at a Windows 10 machine because we're going to use this machine to hack the network. So this Windows 10 machine is currently being assigned access automatically and it has full access. We can see here that it's been tagged as AD managed and AV managed and so if we click on the full access reason it'll show us the policy match that this device currently has and we can see here that it's a trusted managed device because of those flags. But notice that these policies are in order of priority. So later when we do some hacking activity and we, it gets tagged as a deception event, it's going to be assigned a high risk event role and it's going to get quarantined and alerts are going to be sent. So let's go ahead and trigger that event. We'll go over to the Windows client. Now notice this client is able to get out to the internet, is able to ping Google on 888. It's also able to ping an internal server as well as talk to his default gateway. So he has normal connectivity. Now what we're going to do is start some hacking activity. So let me start an SSH client. And I'm going to SSH into one of the honeypot IPs. So I just went ahead and made a connection attempt. Now if we go back to the management screen, and I'll just refresh the view, we can see that there has been a honeypot hit detected. But we're not going to quarantine on this yet because we want the user to put in some credentials so we know what credentials he may have stolen or compromised. So we'll go back to that Windows 10 client and let's go ahead and continue our hacking. I'll put in some credentials here. That doesn't work. Maybe I'll try another session here with some new credentials. Now at some point I'm going to give up and when I give up I'm going to go ahead and maybe close this session. Once it gets closed and I've stopped trying passwords that's where we're going to trigger the deception event so the user is going to get quarantined. Now going back to the management console I'll just go to the dashboard we can see there's a high risk device on the network right now and we can drill down on that and we can see okay it's that Windows 10 machine it had both the honeypot hit and the deception event hit. And that's why, of course, it was assigned the high risk role. Now, if we want to know what credentials this hacker may be using, we can click on its MAC address, and here we can see all the information we know about this device. And there's a honeypot tab that we can click on, and in here will show us what credentials they use to try to hack the network. So in summary, this deception feature is a great example of how the EasyNAC solution, despite being simple to deploy, provide stronger security than traditional NAC solutions because of its real-time layer 2 protection. Thanks for watching.